Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I have here um, a ton of uh, articles with the same message. The title is a little bit um, different here and there, but the message is this. They all report that Putin is ready to talk to Washington about Ukraine. So he's ready to negotiate. He's ready. According to some reports. Well, why is this news? Putin and his guys in the Kremlin have never said they don't want to negotiate or they don't want to talk about Ukraine. The problem was the other side who said, no, it's illegal for us to negotiate to, with Putin. So why is it news? Is it because actually he wants to talk as uh, suing for peace? Because otherwise there's no news. Putin was always available stating under these conditions, under these terms, we can negotiate, we can start negotiating. But we have four things that are non-negotiable, clearly. The rest, we're good to go. So what changed? Is he suing for peace? I don't think so, because he knows the conditions from the other side, which is he would be dead, he would be hanged or hang. Um, we all love peace, supposedly. The problem is the terms, the conditions of the peace. And let me explain. I can make you appear to be the person who doesn't like peace. Like this. I want your house. I want your money. I want your this. I want your that. And you're going to say, no, I'm not going to give you that. And I'm going to say, see, you are the person who actually stands before or between peace, us and the peace. Why? Because you don't want to give me what I want. So my details my conditions, my terms. So we all want peace under whose terms? That's always the problem. The same here. The Russians want peace. The Ukrainians want peace. The Americans want peace under what conditions? The Americans want to have control of everything, be in charge. The Ukrainians want peace, but they want peace depending on what the Americans want from the peace. And the Russians want peace in their terms. So they all want peace. But their conditions, their interests do not coincide. They, can under, they, no, they fly like this. They don't meet. So let's look at this big number of articles coming from many uh, places, from the Arabs, from the Americans, from the um, Ukrainians, saying that Putin signals to Washington he is ready for talks on Ukraine. Does it mean he dropped his conditions? Well, if he dropped his conditions, that means he's a dead man, because the other side said clearly, we're going to institute, institute a tribunal for war criminals, which you are. Remember, Bucha, it's you. All right, let's look at this article first. The new voice of Ukraine. Supposedly from January 25, 2024, Putin signals to Washington he's ready for talks on Ukraine, report says. Look here. I put here. Putin signals to Washington wants to negotiate. And we got, we got this one right here, which is a new voice of Ukraine. And then we have here Bloomberg, and then a new, uh, new voice of Ukraine, al Maedin, Washington Post, no, New York Times, but this is from December 2nd. I'm talking about these things, Moscow, signals, al Maedin, new voice of Ukraine, Bloomberg. So Putin, look here, he's ready. Bloomberg said, Putin sends U.S. signal on Ukraine talks, sensing advantage in war. Or, or the, other, the other side will use this this way. Eh, see, Putin is losing, so he wants to negotiate. That means everything, everything that we did so far, the sanctions, the weapons, the money that we sent, everything is working. There are all these things together make him negotiate. So that means more of the same will make him negotiate harder. And harder like wants to negotiate because he's losing. I think this is the, uh, this is the way it's going to be used. Now, as I said, Putin is not going to relinquish or give away his four demands. The other guys are not going to do it. 
the same. They don't want to, they want Donbass back. They want the Russians go to go to Vladivostok, tribunal for Putin and everybody else over there, which you know what that means. I send you to Nuremberg trials and you're going to understand exactly what these guys want for those guys, war crimes and all that. Reparation, which means enslavement of Russia. They came now with uh, denuclearization of Russia. That means to take their nuclear weapons and get them to where? Destroy them or something? And probably total access of the Western uh, companies to Russia's natural resources. That's the whole fight here. <laughs> natural resources. And we want to make sure that you militarily cannot compete. That's it. They don't care if it's uh, Bibi, Lili, Mimi, Kiki, uh, all in charge of uh, Russia, as long as they have no pot military potential, zero. That means they can be fucked at any moment. And, uh, and we have acts, we, they, we have access to their natural resources. And then they don't care what's going on over there. But really, they want to change the society as well. You know, everybody identifies as whatever we tell them to identify and the same garbage. So let's read this article from New Voice of Ukraine and see the details right there. Using unofficial back channels, Russian dictator Vladimir Putin continues to explore if the United States is prepared to negotiate an end to the war in Ukraine, Bloomberg reported on January 25. So this is the, where is it? This is actually the article that we have to explore. So he stays testing the waters on whether the US is ready to engage in talks for ending Russia in Russia's war in Ukraine. Hey, but why would he talk to the United States of America when actually Russia invaded Ukraine? <laughs> because, you know, when you have a complaint at a store, you don't go to a low ranking uh, employee or associate. That's how they call them. It's so in insulting. You go to the supervisor or the supervisor or the supervisor, someone who really has the power to make a decision. That's why they allegedly want to talk to the Americans, because those guys are the guys behind all this garbage. He's put on fillers to the US via indirect channels to signal he's open to discussion. He was always open to discussion, so I don't know what the news is, including potentially on future security arrangements for Ukraine, according to two people close to the Kremlin. He never said that Ukraine will not have security, under whose terms? He always, he always says, not no NATO over there. Ukraine will be an independent country, but it's not going to be your guys, so you can put the missiles next to my country. And you are 8,000 miles away from me. This doesn't work that way. We, do, we don't, it's a red line. Nobody said it's going to conquer Ukraine or anything. You guys wanted to put missiles in the country next to me, next to my nose right here and hit me in three seconds, in three minutes, I'm sorry, in three minutes. We can't have that. We don't have a reaction time in three minutes. You have to go back. We're not going to negotiate that with you. That's what the Russians wanted in 2021, in December. If you remember, they wanted security guarantees. The Russians said no NATO and we want security guarantees, even though this is garbage. Why do you need a, a written paper? These guys violate everything they want. They say today we have a treaty, tomorrow we don't have a treaty. You want an example? I will give you an example. Remember, there was a treaty uh, between uh, some European countries, Iran and the United States of America. Remember? Obama, under Obama. That is the United States government, not the administration. Because when they signed that, it didn't say Obama administration. No, United States of America. That's what the seal is over there. So the United States of America made a deal with all these guys, you know, regarding uh, peaceful uh, nuclear uh, energy and so on. Trump came, he represents the American people, and he said, no, we're just gonna do like this, zip, zip with all the things we signed and fuck you. It's exactly what they did. They withdrew out of it, unilaterally, without anything else. He said, no, we don't like the way those guys negotiated. Well, then what is going to be, mean that at every four years they're going to have a different uh, agreement because the administration is administration is not OK with the other administration. If it works like that, you're not a reliable partner, partner, are you? It's like, let's say I'm going to go and buy a car. I make a deal with you, a salesperson under, I don't know, a, a, some kind of leadership of your company right, or a dealership. And then that changes and you knock at my door and say, excuse me, sir, 
or the, the bank excuse me sir uh we, we we don't agree with the terms of the contract we signed we signed with you four years ago things change let's negotiate again uh bad for you what am i going to say yeah no you're not reliable that's why a contract is a contract but it seems not so i don't know what these guys are talking about here security guarantees arrangements for ukraine they were clear at the beginning now the, these guys did not lose we're talking about the russians were not kneeled by those guys and now, now what let's talk about it and the russians supposedly are the ones hey excuse me uh are you wanna do you want it ready maybe it is so maybe it is so u.s officials say they are not aware of the supposed overtures which may amount to a trial balloon. Then if they're not, uh, they're not aware, they're either lying or maybe it's just some, the other side is lying or whomever reported to Bloomberg, weasels. So again, hints of Russian openness to talks, even if the uh, disingenuous could help sow division among, okay. So now from uh, something that the Americans say, no, there's no such a thing. Bloomberg is creating a scenario. All oh, this is a scenario. I'm not going to even read it. Remember, it says here, while the U.S. is always open to talk, in this moment, I don't see it. Anthony Blinken said at the World Economic Forum. So they created an article on something that someone said, they said to the back channels. Did you say that? It was the other word. To the back channels, indirect channels, via. But the Americans say we're not aware of anything like that. So, okay, article, liar. That's it. We should not even bother. But we did. Why? Because that's the way you make propaganda. That's the way you make people, you shape people's opinion. Because they will not look at this as, oh, Putin is a nice guy. He wants to end this. No, no, no. Putin is losing. Give them, give to Ukraine everything else to fuck him up. That means he's weak right now. Or as I said, maybe he's, he feels strong. How can he feel strong to do? And why is he talking to Americans? The Americans told them, we don't talk to you. You talk to, to Zelensky. So it doesn't make sense in so many, in so many uh, areas. Remember, the Russians said this. No NATO for Ukraine. Security guarantees for us. Denazification, demilitarization of Ukraine. And the recognition of Donbass and all the territories as they are. Do you think that these are, these are the turn on the light of the uh, in the negotiation that's what it's like you show up in the building you turn on the light and then you see one another hey how are you thank you for coming have a seat let's discuss so before you do all that you turn on the light on the building those four things that i told you is turning on the light so that's something that must be done in order for us to f first have a seat and shake hands and talk and drink some coffee or whatever so if the Russians are ready to negotiate, what are they going to do? They were ready from the very beginning. This was the unprovoked four reasons for which Russia intervenes and to stop the killing of the Russian population in East Ukraine. But these guys say it was unprovoked. Really? You bring your weapons next to my nose right here? You kill my population, my Russians in Ukraine? And you tell me it was unprovoked? We tried to discuss with you, stop that. We had two uh, agreements with, uh, with uh, Ukraine. You had three guarantors, Poland, France, and uh, Germany. And you tell me it was unprovoked? What were we supposed to do? Just wait? So you kill all those guys and then get Ukraine NATO, bring your infrastructure here. So you had three minutes to hit Moscow and all our uh, uh, missiles in the West, in the West Russia. Is that? Yes. And the Russians should have been, okay, yeah, we agree with that. No, Russia is not uh, Libya, Albania, or uh, Iraq, or no, no, it's not even. I was about to say Afghanistan, but these guys uh, came back with their tail between the legs after they uh, give a lot of contracts for reconstruction for some uh, donors in Iraq in, and in, Afga in Afghanistan. So once those guys. Um, how do you call it, um, inflated so much that they cannot be uh, pumped more? They say, no, that's it. We got saturated. When you get saturated, those guys saturated, no more. We got out of uh, Afghanistan with no, no uh, justification. We just got out mission uncomplete, uncompleted. You spend, I don't know how many billions of dollars over there from our money. 
that could have been be, been spent here in uh, infrastructure for example go and see how the schools are or the roads in the greatest country in the world well, the second the largest economy right in the world we just retreated why what 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 we won mission accomplished what did we accomplish kill kill bin laden they could have been done with a drone look at the israelis those are the experts hire them Thank you very much for being with me again today. This is garbage. Putin is ready to negotiate. The four things are over there. Once you agree with that, we are going to negotiate. Uh, Zelensky's 10 garbage plan is a, it's a kindergarten song. Or with the unicorns and with fairies coming over and with all kinds of things that can identify or whatever they want. It's a Alice in Wonderland. They know it, that's why they made it, so the Russians can't agree with that ever. Therefore, they can always say, see, we want peace, it's our, our terms. But these guys are not accepting our terms. We don't accept theirs, so we're going to meet them in the ring. And that's where they are. Americans and uh, Russians meet in the Ukrainian ring. Who's benefiting? The ones who don't lose almost anything, which is those guys over there. But orchestrated. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.